So Gino Bisconti, our buddy Gino. Yeah. He, uh, oh, wow, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good Monday one. So Gino oh. flipped out, or not flipped out, but um, had some words about April, is what had, you're saying. Yeah, had some words about April. It's all getting so fucking weird now, because I feel like, you know, now that we're divorced, and, and this, this may sound odd, and since we've both, I mean, I was going to say since we've both moved on, but April really hasn't. She's kind of with the same crew as I was before. But now that we're divorced and I've moved on, um, and her last name has changed, I've, this is, I I don't know if this sounds sick or not. I, I view her more through the lens of a news story because I don't know her anymore. Like, I barely knew her when we split. She was just a different person. Like I said, she's pretty much become Little Nick. Like, that's just... April has always been... And my, my ex-wife was telling me this. She goes, April really tries to be who she thinks the people she's closest in proximity to want her to be. Like, her and I, Vikings games, Las Vegas, all this stuff that I'm into. Mm -hmm. Like, she was like, yeah, that's my thing. Like, bourbon. I, I introduced her to, like, different bourbons, and she's like, oh, yeah, I really like bourbons and this and that. It's like, okay, okay that's it's fun. You're, you're my, you know, we go to Vikings games together. We go on vacation. We're trying to raise a family together. You know, we're buddies and partners, and we fuck a lot and all this stuff. Um, okay, all right, cool. But then I watched her get closer to someone else, and I watched her change again, and I went, Oh, weird. This is like kind of what she did with me. They call it mirroring. Okay. And she's a she's a big mirrorer. And she's never going to get better. If well, she that could, explains the whole problem. You can't you can't have a giant mirror and not use it to just a few lines, you know. Oh, like, that's different kind of mirror, but Oh shit, sorry. So like now when you're around a narcissistic addict all the time, and you start doing the things that make them happy, well, having someone to do drugs with and binge drink with is what makes them happy. And also, there's a, like a weird daddy issue in there. I mean, I'm eight years older. Nick's like 15 years older uh, than she is. And it's just, it. there's like a daddy thing there. So she's got to, like, if she's ever going to live a real life, she's got to get the fuck out of there. But she doesn't want to, and you can't make her. So at some point, you just got to cover it like a news story and go, well, best of luck. Uh, Gino and Keanu still want to be friends with April, but it doesn't seem like April really gives a shit if they're friends anymore. Okay. Because I think Nick has kind of told her like, oh, these people, it's either they're on Aaron's side or they're on your side, where... I've never asked anyone to do that. If anything, I've said, I hope April gets away from that. I hope she gets healthy, whatever, rebuilds her life. Keanu um, in particular became friends with April just in a, like in and of itself. It yeah. had nothing to do with you and Gino being friends. Like that's a, that, right. that's just a friend thing there. So, and so I kept in touch with Gino and Keanu and she didn't. And I'm sure that in the, the mental, in the mind state that she's in and with Nick in her ear, uh, I'm sure she probably thinks, oh, well, they chose Aaron over me. Well, no, they didn't. I just talked to my friends. I just, your friends do appreciate it when you have problems and you go to them for counsel, for advice and go, you know, it's kind of that old saying, I fucked my life up. You know, my best thinking got me here. Do you have anything for me? Do you have any ideas? And they're more than happy to share them with you. It just sucks when someone's fucked up their life flatter than hammered shit. Yeah, I was thinking they, of the same quote. And they think they're doing great. And they don't need anybody's advice. Except the person chopping up the cocaine. That's not usually the person you want to get the advice from. Is the person chopping up the... The person going, oh no, this shit isn't even bad for you. No, Oh no, it's totally... No, it's totally fine. Actually, it can help your brain handle stress better. Yeah. Skeletor, you really seem like you're handling stress well. Oh, man. I, I, I would love to be like, no, dude, it'll help your MS, your body. Will move <laughs> you, you would. If you would have hung out with Nick, he probably would have pulled up some bullshit website that said, oh, there's a study out there that thinks MS can be helped by cocaine. And I, So 
I would argue, and again, not my problem anymore, but I would argue that shacking up with the uh, accused felon who, in my opinion, has substance abuse issues and is married with five children that he can't legally see right now, I would say that that's probably a bad character judgment. But again, I'm just the guy who still gets to be around his kids and has his life back. I. It was funny that Nick told Keanu, Aaron got cocked out of his life. Hey, Nick, you can't see your children. You can't show your face in public without people pointing and going, oh, that fucking weirdo. And I'm hanging around my kids all the fucking time. I have my house back, my life back, and I'm moving forward again. Who cucked who out of what? Well, he does have an extra front hole now. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> wins and losses. I mean, he had to get it loaded up with drugs first. I mean, no offense. I Nick, I don't, I don't mean to brag at you, buddy, but I got the showroom model. You got the one that kind of got ran through a little bit. No, and, and you're the one who ran it through. I mean, you're the one who get, put all the chemicals and the bullshit in their body and then... That is, a, you know, that is a good way to get them if you can't be naturally charming and you're kind of a narcissist and a crazy person. I mean, if you can get them hooked on the same shit you're hooked on. I mean, yeah. she is, it is kind of a very Lester Diamond ginger relationship in Casino. Oh, my God. And Nick is about as frail and as skinny as James Woods was in that movie. Oh, shit. Does that mean I'm going to get in a car and it's going to start on fire? That's entirely possible. Uh-oh. That's no good. Well, anyway. But that might be just because you fall asleep while you're driving. That's true. Uh, Gino had some thoughts on the matter. All right. What's Gino's thoughts? Well, Gino gets fiery. Um, and one thing I agree with uh, Gino on is he says, you see it in the caption here of my, by the way, my lost interest on YouTube. Follow him. He says, April, get away from all three. Accurate. Fair. April and I are fucking poison for each other at this point. I mean, look at the choices we made when we were together. Fucking deviant, awful, degenerate choices. Not good. Shouldn't be together. Uh, once our relationship had to get to a certain depth, both of us were incapable of doing it. Um, we really, once you figured out where your differences were and you didn't want to you each didn't really want to help the other one. Yeah. So get away from all three is great advice because first of all, let's just talk about what a bad look it is to shack up with a married man while his wife is in the house, allegedly. And how it kind of, like you just look like you're the charged the the person who's charged with a felony and has a drug problem you're their side piece like that's your identity now you don't want that for your identity and you you i kind of think you're better than that but i don't know man you are she, your choices you know she has an opportunity like i said when when this all went down if if you don't realize how this is going in a bad way i don't know what else do you need to do like you got arrested but you got away with all of it in the sense that there weren't really any charges pressed. you got the closest thing to a get out of jail free card that you can have like this yeah. is this is your moment because you don't get a reprieve on the second time the second time around people will be less understanding about I oh mean, well you're going through this if this guy shoves coke up your nose and then convinces you you're not hooked and then gets you arrested and gets his own kids taken away, which was supposed to be your career, was being a live-in nanny. Uh, and then those kids get taken away. Like, this person has literally taken everything from you. Has cost, this, person, this person has cost you everything. And if you come out of that thinking it's my fault or my show's fault, then I'm sorry, you are the result of your choices. It's hard for me to now say she's better than that or she's better than this. If, if someone takes everything from you, like this person has, and you still think they're the greatest person on earth, then I'm sorry. You just, your moral, uh, let's use the line, your moral compass is so fucked, it'd be a surprise if you get to the parking lot. So let me get this straight. I don't mean to get caught up on this one point, but you mean once again, she's being paid to do a job she's not doing. 
For how long? <laughs> I did not. I did. That was not. That was Johnny who said yep. that. By the way, the VIP merch orders are on their way. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the raise, by the way. I really appreciate it. You're welcome anytime. So <sighs> let's go to Gino's rant here. Gino. I've noticed that like April's friends have been a lot nicer than I have. I mean, this is really the first time where I've went. Well, because I got fucking shit on hard. Like she's like, your show has made my life unlivable. It's like, motherfucker, that cocksucker. Like got got you on drugs. I told you not to. I said, you should probably cut this out. Back in December, I told her you should cut this out before it gets too bad. It's only a little bit. It's going to become more. And it's going to become every day. Meanwhile, getting up at four in the morning to go do a show and she's getting one. Oh, well, because I got to wake up. I barely got any sleep. Okay. All right. Well, I'm chugging two Celsius and trying to keep it street legal, but all right. Okay. Whatever. You know, fuck it. I know that if we have a fight about it, I'm going to be a monster at the end of it. So like this person my show has made your life unlivable because I've talked about my life and what I've done and my divorce and everything else. You are with someone who's so fucking delusional that they think when it comes to he and I that he's winning. <laughs> hey, hey, April, between Nick and I, which of us played with our kids all weekend? I don't know that there is like no offense. There's no winning in this. Like no, we're you, all like, fucking losers. At least I'm yeah. trying to build my fucking life back up. This guy still thinks that he's a victim. He's a fucking lunatic. So I'm sorry, but to the person who you had one person encouraging you to do drugs with them, you had another person encouraging you to stop. Another person gets to see those kids that you claimed you loved so much. I, I don't buy it. Um, uh, uh, is still with those kids. The other one can't take them anywhere on his own and fucked you out of a job, by the way. Um, you're also causing, you've caused serious problems for their marriage. And I'm the problem? Guys, you got to get some fucking help. I'm sorry. So let's see what Gino has to say. Yeah, I want to see what thing. Gino has to say. Hey, Rick Otta, uh, like, like, you know, ricotta cheese, and I got to venture to guess it's because that's what Kevin Brennan always calls the ricadas. It is funny. The ricadas. By the way, as long as we touch upon that, uh -oh. let me point something about the ricadas and the ricadas, okay? Uh, he's a fucking... He's, he's an idiot. Everyone involved in this, including my friend fucking Steeltoe, yep. including my friend April, they're all fucking idiots. They're all fucking children. I love April and Aaron. Oh, no, that's what Mersh said about Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, easy no, oh, with the I'm, slander there, Gina. Sorry, fucking children, not fucking children. I understand. Okay, that's my fault. Behaving like fucking children. But, like, I, I get messages from people who go, Chrissy's talking shit about you or Gino's talking shit about you, blah, blah, blah. And I go look at it, and I watch them say shit about me that I would agree with. When Gino goes, Aaron, even my buddy Aaron, he's, they're being fucking children. Yes, of course. I did fucking degenerate shit that grown-ups don't fucking do. Yes, fair. I can't believe that any of those three would think that they were in a position to argue Gino on that point. Or like Nick, argue Keanu on that point. Because Nick's so used to pushing around women and manipulating them, he runs into one who knows who the fuck she is in Keanu, and she tells him what time it is, and he doesn't like it, and he throws a tantrum. Now, I don't know how you could disagree with Gino on this. That's kind of been the thing that, and I, and I, know, I know show me is an act. Like, I'm putting on mm -hmm. a persona for the show. But in my private life, I am, like, like we said in the meetings, going to gratitude and how great my life is. And like, without saying too much about my private uh, affairs now, like the person I'm hanging out with now in many ways has saved my life and made it livable again. And I adore this person for that. And I, I couldn't have that. I couldn't be around that person if I didn't come to grips with and admit what I did 
and confess my sins and bear my soul. I just I've I've known it for a while, and I'm glad you finally come to to terms with your deep love for Adrian Washington. And uh, he, I'm fuck, glad he, fu he fucks me good. Uh, <laughs> you too, huh? <laughs> Damn it, not again. Mine Shit. was financially though. So, <laughs> so you know when Gino says they're all fucking children, yes, he's absolutely right. Everyone involved in this, including my friend fucking Steeltoe, including my friend April, they're all fucking idiots. They're all fucking children. I love April and Aaron fucking as much as I think Nick Ricada is just a... I've had it with a guy that's sitting there. All these, anyone that's waiting for him to say anything, anything, uh, is, is insane. Yes. And I'll tell you something else about Nick. This is what he's going to do. Don't trust anyone talking, especially Aaron, because it's going to come out. Aaron can talk. Because he didn't get arrested in a room full of guns, drugs, and kids. Bingo, Gino. That's the thing that uh, people who are sweeping for Nick don't understand. They're like, oh, you're just talking. Fuck you. I earned it. Fuck you because out of all these four people, one right decision was made. It just so happens to be the decision I made. The right decision was going, this has cost me my marriage. Even though April's like, we, maybe we can rebuild his friends and then slowly get it back. Fuck that. That's just you trying to keep me on the hook so you can keep this charade going. Horseshit, absolutely not. And then Kayla, are you sure we can't have a relationship? This thing is fucked six ways this Sunday. I gotta go. Or at least four ways. <laughs> or at least four ways. And then Nick going, you lied to me. You let my wife on. Oh, you should K yourself. Dude, it's fucking over. And that's what the tantrums were. They knew it was fucking over. You led my wife on. She wanted to be with you, and you turned her down. How dare you not how, take my wife from me? How fucking insane is that, that Nick basically is throwing a tantrum that translates to, keep fucking my wife. No, I can't do this. It's cost me too much. It, like I said, it's the blackjack table. It's like I've spent too much on this one. This one, the cost, you know, the the... I, I've long feared that my sins would return to visit me and the cost is more than I can bear. There was one wise decision made in this whole thing and it was made by me. Now, does that make me wise? No, because I made 9,000 wrong decisions and is, it is not canceled out by you making the one right decision, which by the way, should have been fucking obvious to anyone with half a brain right away when it started. So nothing to be proud of on my end. But the Are we square? I, 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 I plastered your wife's face so many times I can't count. Are we square? Jesus. I love that the ticker at the bottom of this, too, is also pumping a fundraiser for addicts and pit bulls. Yes. Beautiful, Gino. This is the right time to talk about all of But So when all the sweepers sit there, the sweepers go, Aaron's talking so much. Suck my fucking dick. I'm the only one who fucking pulled the nose of the plane up before it crashed into the mountain. So eat my ass. I will talk a little shit. Well, that's how this all started. <laughs> ass eating. So it's all harmless salad tossing until we go to that next step. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't believe anything, especially if it comes from Aaron. Like, Nick could not be more of a controlling cult leader type if he tried, and he's completely self-unaware about it. The fact that you reach out to Keanu to try and, like, steer her in a certain direction, and you don't think that's being a manipulative cunt? Like, that would be like me texting, who's one of the sweepers for Nick? Like, Star Wars Girl or Robert Barnes and one of those going, no, you know, this is really how it really happened. <laughs> You know why I don't do that? Because that's conniving, controlling, and cunty. They're all allowed to think the way they want. If I have a problem with it, I'll say it publicly and I'll criticize them. But they can think whatever the fuck they want to. I'm not so insecure. I know what happened. He knows what happened. And that's why he's trying to call everyone who talks shit about him to try and control it. And you're currently not on the hook for having to prove what you said happened, did or didn't happen. Do you know it's kind why? Because I was... Hey, because uh, I was living in a house that didn't have 26 grams of cocaine, guns. Well, it had children in it, but it didn't have any of the bad shit in it. That's why I yeah, get Yeah, it's because I finished it all before they could get there because I'm a goddamn good person. <laughs> hey, Nick, time to take some responsibility, buddy. You know why I get to say shit and you don't? 
because I didn't have 26 grams of cocaine and guns in my house. I went to fuck home. Aaron got cooked out of his life. You cooked yourself, motherfucker. You are in deep shit. I'm not. I'm in a way better place. And I know that's why you lash out. I know that's what really bothers you. Just be honest about it, bud. And then Rakate is like, well, if you believe there's guns, drugs, and kids, I believe the police report <laughs> when you get so out of your skis as a fucking lawyer that you're fucking so good at like, trust me, I'll find a way to fucking set up point A and invent point B. And in between, I got till August to figure out the fucking lie. That's fine. But don't insult my intelligence. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared. I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? Why would I? I'm genuinely curious how you're going to fucking do this legal gymnastics. But if you want anyone to believe that fucking you weren't in a house with guns, drugs, and kids, and the police report was a lie, God bless you. <laughs> That's a good point. It's like you have to have so little regard for the human brain to go like, oh, you're a bootlicking, bootlicking gay F word. Nick, all the shit they found is shit that I've seen. In fact, they found some shit I hadn't seen. They, they found shit that I didn't even know about. So and doesn't does does isn't there body cam footage like in this day and oh. age I'd I'd really really avoid sitting there saying what is and isn't true about what the cops claim yeah. happened because if they release that body cam footage and you are lying now you've really kicked yourself in the dick. Here's here's my thing about that body cam. It's the reason that I just laugh at Nick sweepers when they criticize me. I just laugh at them cuz I go I know you're not going to give me the apology I deserve when that body cam comes out, but I know that deep down in your soul, when you watch that body cam footage, and it is a fucking walking map, a layout of exactly what I said, and then some, you're going to have that moment, that come to Jesus moment where you're like, I mean, I'll never admit it, but that fucker was right. That's mm. why I don't feel the need to go back and forth with these people. I know that in time... The truth, the physical truth will be out there. And I can just sit back and go, I, you can think I'm arrogant. You can think I'm a piece of shit. You can not trust me, whatever, yep. but I fucking, I told us so. Sorry. I don't give a fuck. And uh, two weeks ago, I read messages uh, between me and April, and there was nothing private released. There was nothing. All I did was read what she said to make a plea to her the only way I fucking can. OK, because I'll tell you what's not compromised when I'm sending a message to you, April. This is me talking to you. See my face when I'm getting a text from you and you're in a house with those fucking pieces of shit. They're not. Fuck off, April. Fucking. Gene, Gino's fired up. Yeah, he seems upset. Gino, Gino mad. Well, look, he look like he's taking this well. Look, I, I've had my moments on air and more than enough moments off air back, you know, two months ago where you go through that anger and everything else, you know? I mean, they lost a friend. I mean, the friend changed and became a different person. Everybody but April and the Ricadas see that, that she became a different person. In fact, one of the reasons I don't have to be like Nick and fucking try to manipulate people is, A, I don't roll like that. But also, B, you can just sit back and let people observe for themselves. People are smart, and they'll come back to you, and then when every single person comes back to you and goes, it's just not herself, you go, I know, right? He's fucking wild. It's um, almost like when you change your life to do like any particular hobby, it if you revolve around it, it changes who you are. Yeah, and so like... I have to let my friends and all these people go through the stages of grief of losing someone that I've already gone through. So, like, when I say that April has transitioned into a news story to me, it's because I've gone through those five stages, I've moved on, and now I've got better things in my life and better people in my life. Gino and Keanu are now having to deal with the fact that, for all intents and purposes, she's gone. And they're losing a friend. At they're least, not happy about yeah, it. Yeah, and at least for the foreseeable future, they're not coming back. You know, they, they just get deeper and deeper into the shit and they don't know how to get themselves out because they, they have a, a marionette over top of them.
going like, it's totally fine. You're okay. Dance. So they're going through the stages right now, and Gino's really good at the anger stage. I love you and respect you too much to let you lie to my fucking face. I don't mind you being fucked with physically. You're a grown woman. That's your choice. But don't ever think I'm not yelling at you out of fucking respect and fear for your fucking future. And anyone Whoa. that fucking tells you Gino's not your friend, he read that shit on air, is fucking with your head. And you're uh-oh, does that mean, uh-oh, I think uh -oh. Nick might have... Nick might would have said that? Nick might have told April, God, he is a fucking gross guy. Oh, he's just such a fucking worm. And they put oh. him on the, the double screen. It's hurting me. Oh, you meant, oh, I'm sorry. You meant Nick. <laughs> my apologies. I, uh... <laughs> but what a fucking worm to manipulate someone, especially someone... He knows April's a vulnerable person. Lied to her about me, lies about Keanu, lies about Gino... I bet you after Keanu read him the riot act on Instagram, he went back to her and went, these people aren't your real friends. Nobody would treat, look at how she treats me. And it's really like, he's trying to set this up. Probably with Kayla too, is like us against the world. Because if they're insulated with him, he can control the narrative, the defense. He's going to lead these people into a fucking jail cell. I mean, I just, how do you not see it going bad right now? Like yeah. just with everything that happened, how do you not, See, I, I just, I don't understand how you don't, don't go, all right, time to, so, time to step away. So am I reading this right? Did Nick, prob did Nick, does Gino have confirmation that Nick told April that he's not really her friend because. It seems like it, but yeah. I, I, I need receipts before I'm going to sit there and say, yeah, but Dude. no, it, he's speaking to someone very directly. So how I don't can, think so. How can you exhibit such blatant narcissistic behavior and you fucking miss it? Well, I guess it's probably <laughs> glug, glug. Glug, glug. I mean, that's probably the way you ignore it. You're letting them. So get the fuck out of there. Go to a neutral place where you're not fucking going like, and if you're sitting there saying, those were all mine. They're not. You're in a toxic fucking environment. Anyone that's trying to convince you everything you see here is false, stop it. Uh -oh. see, yeah, see, Gino and Keanu know something, and I'm not going to press them. I'm going to let Keanu just... Tell us whatever she feels like telling us on Thursday. I know she's excited about that show. Yeah, I am too. Gino is very fired up about something. Yeah. So somebody is this said after something. the messages that Keanu got. Did Keanu get the texts she before got, this? This was on Saturday, and Keanu got them Saturday, I think, or Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. But because yeah, he seems a little worked up. Gino's worked up. And you know, here's the thing. Nick is one of those guys who like and to, to use a metaphor here i see it in the gym all the time when i'm training fighters you get one of these new guys who's been you know beating up other new guys and then he's gonna step up and he's gonna you know try and get in the ring with you and he's like oh i can hold my own and you're just so experienced that you just you smack him around it's no problem that's the problem nick is having with gino and keanu right now and he and the problem he had with me at the end is that Nick is so used to fucking with vulnerable people and it working. He's so used to fucking with people who have become damaged and damaged partly by him and partly by me because of the fucking shitty decisions I made. So Nick takes these damaged people and he works his voodoo and it works. So he starts thinking, oh my God, I can make anyone think the way I think. But then he runs into well-adjusted people, and I can't believe I'm saying this about my buddy Gino, but he runs into <laughs> well-adjusted people like Keanu and Gino who don't fall for his bullshit, and he's basically relegated to temper tantrums, which is kind of what Gino's making it sound like here. Yeah. I won't... Nick, Nick has played himself, cucked himself, if you will. Nick has played himself into thinking that he's some grand swami. He's not. He's just really good at fucking with vulnerable women's heads. He's done it to his wife for years. Does it to April now? If, she, if he's telling April that Gino and Keanu aren't her real friends, then he's a giant piece of manipulative shit. Don't read your text anymore. I won't. The ones you sent me two days ago, they're between me and you. But understand, I think they're compromised. But when I read... That's your... the other thing. Like, Keanu told me, she goes, I think Nick's writing April's text for her. Which is creepy. It's another sign that you're in a bad situation when you're not... When you're not allowed to speak for yourself. 
it's another one of those things. I don't know. Maybe he's really convincing about, no, it's better if I handle it. And I know how, I don't know what sweet nothings he's whispering, but hey, Johnny. yeah, I don't know. I'd have a problem when someone doesn't let me text my own messages. Hey, I don't, uh, Hey Johnny, I have trust issues. I got to switch off a of Gino for a second here. Yeah. Guess what? I have to break out the sippy cup. I made a spilly. God damn it, dude. I know. I made a... It was a small spilly, but it was a spilly on the keyboard, so now I have to drink out of the sippy cup. Uh, who was it? Was it Sage Retard, or was it uh, Semper, or was it... Oh, God. God, I don't remember. Who the fuck sent me that? I feel so bad. Sage, Semper... You can't... You're going to drip some more on your keyboard, it looks like? Shut up, I did. Trying to put the lid on? How do you do oh, lids? Boy. All right, hold I on. I just... Uh, there we go. I don't go. know, man. Get, right. get a water bottle or something. All right. So now we got the, the sippy. There we go. Uh, let, let's continue on with Gino here. Text on air for your own good, and the guy in your ear says, that guy's not your friend. Someone you knew way longer. Someone you knew authentically. Someone who came to your house. Someone who fucking, you know, would have been over backwards for you two. Ne never fucking. I was not hanging out with you for money or super chats, April. I was hanging out with you and your fucking husband to fucking go to football games, to have drinks, to fucking sing karaoke, to do streams. It was fun. Yeah. To play golf. We love touching our balls. Dude, I have a sh... This is going to sound gay. I have a shitload of friends that are a lot of fun. Gino is in the top five of, like, fun people to fucking hang out with. In fact, I the Vikings game we went to... Th Three out of my five most fun friends to hang out with were there. We were at the bar after the game and just having a great fucking time. And uh, yeah, I feel for Gino and Keanu. I really do because I've been through what they're going through. I've gotten past it. I can see it as, as a news story now. But if they're right, and they seem to know more than I do because I'm disconnected from it, thank Christ. Um but they seem to know more than I do. And it sounds like Nick is really like really sunk his hooks into April bad now. And it's yeah, rejection and it's, hurts, man. And, and, and they've been you whole time. You never once, yeah. never once, man. They were, they were over at your house every opportunity. Yeah. No. And, uh, it's amazing that, uh, that he's now trying to convince her that Gino and Keanu are not good friends. Let me tell you what makes Gino and Keanu good friends. Do you know how many times they've told me shit I don't want to hear? That's true. A lot. Because that's what your friends do. I mean, if you got someone else telling you that your true friends giving you tough love are not your real... I mean, think of how gross and manipulative that is to go, oh, that guy who's uh, giving you life advice, he's not your real friend. I'm your real friend. Here, here's another line. Here's another drink. There you go. I mean... It's going to come out that, like, I don't even know how much of a pig this guy is. Like, I, I'll, I'll probably be surprised. Because... I don't know. Now, like I said, I'm just curious about the body cam footage. Because, like, you're gonna, said, that, that's, you're gonna that's love what locks... It. I'm going to look for it. Uh, the, the thing is that, like, again, when they got busted, I was gone for six weeks. I was surprised how much they went to shit physically in just the six weeks. When I saw the mug shots, I was like, Jesus Christ, I don't even know these people. There was no fucking moment where it's like, oh, let me see what we can get. No. Ask yourself in your fucking moments of alone quiet time. Ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? What would you like to happen? What would you like to happen, April? Would you like fucking Nick to be found guilty? So, so excuse me, would you like Nick to be found innocent? Whatever fucking legal maneuvers he's using, and I can't speak for him, because much like John, he's a genius. <laughs> Get away from all three of them. Get away from all three. Yes. This is where it is now. Oh, uh, well, when you hear what happened between uh, April and Aaron in real life, I, I, I watch this. I don't care. The truth is <laughs> you guys know what happened. I don't. There's uh, three sides to what happened between April and I. My side, April's side, and the truth. Like every well, other be before than Nick's side. Yeah, like well, yeah, four sides then. Um yeah, I, I mean it's it's amazing to me that like 
you're like you're gonna be oh when you hear what really happened between the two of them what what really happened um we opened up our marriage drugs got involved we fought like fucking cats and dogs and got fucking nasty about it and our marriage fell the our marriage went into fucking free fall because any fractures or any problems that were workable before this you were just exacerbated you just no you escaped to the other person instead of dealing with your problems like when april and i had that issue with the zumok stuff we actually uh, like six 10 months later, we're like, we have really worked through that and I'm really proud of us and we've gotten to a much better place. And then like, uh, it's funny, before we met the Ricadas, we were like, we've really been doing very well working on our shit. Because when you're faithful to your relationship, you have no choice but to work through shit with someone. But the minute you open up and another person comes in, I know at least in my case, and they tell you you're a good person and you're they love being around you, you're like, well, this other person makes me feel like shit. This and person this one doesn't. This person doesn't. I'm going to hang around the one that doesn't make me feel like shit. That's what happened with April and I. We became incapable of dealing with our horse shit and we leaned on other people. And it all came crashing down. That's what happened. There, you know, there's no Aaron was the victim and there's definitely no April was the victim. It was Two people fell the fuck apart. And I will say, I'm better off for it. But I'm only better off for it because I helped fuck things up so bad uh, at, you know, during this thing that now I'm better off for it. I, I'm, I'm better off for it. I learned to use my tears as lubricant. And there we go. It does get slick. I'll tell you what I do know. You're divorced. Okay. I'll tell you what I do know. You're young with your whole life ahead of you. I'll tell you what I do know. You have parents who love you, and you're wanted where you are loved. You're wanted where you can profit the most, okay? If you're hanging out with a place... I love how Nick the Grand Manipulator tells Gino and Keanu, oh, when you hear the whole story, you're going to think differently. No, they're not, because Gino and Keanu know that I didn't... like. Gino and Keanu are not, not sitting here going, wow, Aaron did everything right, and he sure is the victim. <laughs> no, it sounds like Aaron, uh, it sounds like they uh, kind of view you as a piece of shit in this as well, too. Right. My friends view me as a piece of shit who was a fucking child and was fucking stupid. But you know what they see? They see a guy who's at least being honest and going, I was a piece of shit. I was stupid, you guys. You are right. Here's how I'm going to move forward. And April, they would treat her the same way if she did the same thing. But they're watching their friend make the same mistake over and over. And like Gino said, I don't give a shit what happened. I'm interested in what's going on now. Some people are like, but if you think, but but if you're if that manipulator really thinks that I'm out here telling people that I was just an innocent bystander and it was all her fault, boy, you are fucking you're crazier than I thought you were, which is possible. If you want to ask any of my friends about this situation, the first thing they'll go, the first thing they'll say is, I never thought Aaron would do something like this. This is completely out of character. This was a fucking stupid move on his part. I can't believe he got involved with something like this. That's the first thing any of my friends and family will tell you. They won't blame anyone else. They'll just go, I can't believe Aaron got himself into this mess. I totally can. I just can't believe I didn't notice. I just feel <laughs> Thank you. I mean, anytime someone says, let me explain what really happened. What? You know what happened. No one needs to explain to me what really happened. I kicked Keanu's ass all week at rock, paper, scissors. She can fall. See that? See that? Look at this. <laughs> but go to a place where you can fucking be, sit in silence with your soul. And that's not in that house. That's not in that house. That's... It's not. It's not. Not on their part. Boy, you can tell Keanu just wants to fucking let loose, can't you? Yeah, she is not. She's not happy about this. I actually want to know what those text messages are now. Let's tease well, those for Thursday. Let me let me tell you this. Anytime, like this is a classic, again, manipulative tactic. Anytime you need to see, oh, wait until you hear the real story. That's a manipulation shit. I don't do that with people. I go, observe it for yourself. Watch it. Tell me what you think. Here's what I did. Tell me what you think. And they go, well, you're a fucking idiot. You go, yeah. 
Definitely a fucking idiot. Anytime you have to go wait until you hear the story, I'll look good when you hear this story. It's like that's you being a fucking piece of shit. Like, no, yeah. you know, the old saying, no good marriage ever ended in divorce. You both had to, it takes two. You both had to fuck this up pretty hard. That's like when April would trash the shit out of Kayla when she would talk to me, which is fucking weird. Like, just, guys, don't wife swap. It's just fucking awkward and strange and fucked up. Um, but when she would sit there and go, she treats him bad and she makes him feel bad and she does this and she's not right for him and blah, 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 blah. And you're like, what the fuck? And I would tell her, I'm like, you understand I'm your husband, right? She's like, yeah, but you love her very much and you just won't admit it. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is fucking insanity. And she's like, she would talk shit about Kayla and how wrong she was and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, April, who told you that? She's like, well, Nick told me that. I go, exactly. The same guy who gave you Coke and said, oh, it's actually not that bad because what it does. Why would he lie? Is, yeah. Why, why would he lie, though? <laughs> he's just a good dude giving you the facts about yeah. the substance that he's in love with. Like, here's how you know that you need to sharpen up a little bit. When this person continues make, to make decisions that puts you in direct and immediate danger and you never question anything they did before based on this new information... You got to sharpen up. Your street smarts are dog shit. This guy got you arrested. Make no mistake. And you still think it was his wife's fault that they're not doing well? Please. Not anywhere near them. Okay, said my piece. And you can hate me for it, April. But fucking, I say that with nothing but love. And, but fucking. and fucking, come here. Come to New York. Hang out with us and let us poison your mind with fucking whiskey and tobacco. But get the fuck away from everyone involved. Get the fuck away from everyone fucking involved. It's not fucking hard. Everyone's like, oh, my it's God. It's hard. It's probably hard. Oh, okay, thank you, baby. Go. Well, see, now, now, see, Keanu, and again, she really wants in on this conversation. She's saying it's hard because Keanu is aggressively of the belief that this is like a cult leader brainwashing thing. Like Nick is kind of controlling this, and April can't yes. get out because he's, he's making sure she doesn't. Keanu is firmly of that belief for Keanu's deeper in that belief than I am but you know she's had some experience with it now too and she believes it more and more every day I think that's the difference between still going through the stages and then like I said covering it like a news story like I'm doing is is you get a little more you know heated and passionate about it I don't know. Most news stories don't break into it. And, and live today at five, uh, the people I was having a crazy, weird sex relationship with. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, it's one of those deals where, uh, where I'm in a, a better spot. I'm in a better place than all of them. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I couldn't be going in a better direction and they couldn't be going in a worse direction. So I'm grateful for that. You just got to be grateful for where you're at. And then you won't, you know, this stuff won't fuck with you so hard. But then you got to remember these two lost a friend. And they feel it's unfair and they're going through the stages of that. And you got to let them. Go on, you're right. Well, fucking, it's just fucking, how, it, like to quote the Buddha, you know what sick people get? They get sick of being sick. And that's what I pray for April. I hope she gets sick of waking up in a toxic place where a guy's like, don't worry, it'll be fine. Don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> Keanu what the heck is, is she saying? Keanu is fucking pissed. She's making fun of Nick. She must have got right. the messages already at, at this. Yeah, point. I'm. I'm guessing she got the messages, and I'm guessing that she shared that information with Gino because again, he does seem a little lit. He's worked up. He's worked up just a bit. So that was Gino's uh, uh, rant, and I thought that was really good. And again. We thank my lost interest for that one. Thank you, my lost interest. Uh, this person with six dollars say saying it's say it's from ceiling cats. Oh, the okay. ceiling cats. Okay, there were some ceiling cats in his comeback. He stared up at the uh, at the ceiling, the ceiling a little cats. bit. Yeah. Uh, let's knock that five off of there. Two twenty five away from today. Uh, then we've got, oh my goodness, we got a bunch coming in here. Uh, let's go to Jackass Whiskey and Pinto Beans for 15. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, 
Let me just make sure I'm updated here. Uh, after all these, 210 away from today. We're 210 bucks away from today's goal. We've got an hour to go, guys. So if you want to throw in some money, we would appreciate that. Let's knock out that 200 bucks in the next one hour. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, memberships, Venmo, all that stuff. Jackass Whiskey and Pinto Beans. Aaron, you must not have watched Annie Hall. You were supposed to take April to The Sorrow and the Pity. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Annie Hall. Uh, Jackass again says poetry is not gay or else Johnny would be delving into James Joyce. Well, that seems unnecessary. <laughs> Volo uh, Ludo I need with to look into it. Volo Ludo with five bucks says uh, quick question to Nick wear boxers or legal briefs. He seems like a woman's boy shorts kind of guy. Well, he's so thin now. I mean, I don't think he can wear anything but women's underwear. I would guess. I don't know. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, Jackass Whiskey and Pinto Beans says Gino has many gay mannerisms. How did he attract the hot woman? Is it the Eames chair? Uh, Gino is a very charismatic guy. He's a very charming guy. He's just a, he's a good dude. He's had a long life of practice overcoming his face. He's, a, he's gotten good at it. He's a, he, but he is, he's a passionate guy. And, uh, you know, he's a lot of, he's a lot of fun to be around. So yeah. Makes uh, to me, it makes total sense. 